What's going on guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today I'm showing you the BIOS on the Gigabyte X99 Gaming 5P motherboard. Now this BIOS is gonna be pretty much the same throughout all of Gigabyte's X99 line. Um, the motherboards that are reviewed in the past are pretty much similar to this as well. So we actually have three different types of uh, BIOS menus um, or BIOS themes or whatever you want to call it. Um, the first one is the startup guide. So this kind of gives you, you know, the things that you might actually change on a more constant basis. So you don't have to, you know, delve into the full BIOS to kind of get everything. Um, so right now we can go through and you can use the mouse too if you want or your keyboard. Um, so you have system language, uh, of course you can set that up, fast boot, system time, you can set up security. Um, with your SATA controller, of course, you can um, set up, uh, you can, of course, enable or disable it or configure as uh, IDE, ACHI, and RAID. You can set that all up. Your boot sequence, which again is one of the most important things um, to set up, you have that in here as well. And uh, startup options, you can obviously select the different modes here. So we're on startup guide, um, there's classic mode, and then there's the uh, smart tweak HD mode um, or smart tweak regular mode, which we'll go into in just one second. Um, but you can set up whenever you boot your system um, and go into the BIOS, which one will load first. I just have it on the default which is the startup guide. Um, you can load the defaults and you can exit. Now, one thing that I've talked about before reviewing previous Gigabyte motherboards is that I really believe that the startup guide should have an XMP profile setting set up in it. Um, you know, the two things that you really set up when you go into your BIOS is, of course, your boot sequence, which they do have right here, but they do not have anything for XMP profiles. You know, if you get you know, your memory, the first thing you do is you go into the BIOS and you enable the XMP profile. It's not in here, I wish it was. Um, but that is it for the startup guide. So you hit F2 to kind of switch between the different guides or modes. Um, so we hit F2 and this is the classic BIOS that you're used to seeing. Um, Gigabyte, of course, has made it look a little bit better, but this is the classic um, Gigabyte BIOS that pretty much has every setting that you would want. A lot of the stuff that's in the Tweak HD is not in, or a lot of stuff that's not in the Tweak HD is actually in this. Um, I prefer to use this if I'm going in and changing a lot of settings. Um, but this has everything that you need um, to fully customize, get everything the way you want it um, for your system. So everything's in here, you know, CPU changes, memory changes, um, all of your USB stuff, boot settings, everything is in this uh, BIOS. But the newer and which obviously looks better is the Tweak HD, so you hit F2 again and you'll go into the Tweak HD, and as you can see here, this really looks awesome. This has pretty much all the settings you will need. Um, I did find a few things that aren't in here for some reason um, that are in the older BIOS, but almost everything you're gonna need as far as CPU and memory are in here. So I'm gonna go a little quick overview. On the side here, um, you have your CPU status, so it gives you your frequency, um, your ratio, your voltages, and fan speeds. Um, same thing on memory, you have your frequency, voltages, and uh, the timings that you have. Um, up top, we have a live view of our voltages for CPU, DRAM, um, CPU and DRAM, and then for fan speed, of course, we have all the fans you have connected, you'll see them in real time. And then your temperature here on your CPU and your system temperature right over there. And then over here, we have some system stats. We have our host clock, our voltages, temperatures, and fan speeds all in real time, which is actually really cool. Um, so your main tab is your frequency tab, and that's gonna give you all of your settings for your CPU. So you can set your base clock, your, um, your your CPU clock ratio, which of course, if you're up, if you're overclocking, that's what you're going to change. They have CPU upgrade, which is auto overclocking. So pretty much depending on your CPU, these settings will be different. But of course, you can see we can go all the way up, pretty high up here, all the way up to 4.3 gigahertz. Um, what they have set there. Um, of course, right here is your XMP profile. You can see we have it disabled. But again, that's the one setting that I wish was in the first. Um, the smart menu or the, the starting menu. I wish that was there, but it is here. You can go ahead and set that. And then of course you have your advanced core settings, which is all of the things like Intel Turbo Boost and all the different CPU specific settings are in here. If you go to the memory tab, of course we have XMP profile again, and then all of your memory you know, settings, and you can go into your channel settings and set the, your timings 
per stick if you want you can go ahead and do that voltages of course we have you know power settings for the motherboard itself and then we have cpu cpu voltage control chipset voltage control and of course our dram voltage control under miscellaneous um, there are a couple things uh, pc pci slot configuration of course that's set to auto you can set it to gen one through three but it's just on auto so it will detect the card and um, make it that setting then it's just this just has P pc health status um, so all the information you know on the uh you know different things and all your warnings and things you can turn on and off for temperature and all of that and then under home um here is just a menu that can have kind of you can kind of um, set this to whatever you want so you can put different settings in here and kind of have it all set up so this is you know your performance tab which will have your cpu base clock host clock value cpu frequency all that kind of stuff um, stuff for your memory all of that and then there's a standard here which is fat you can enable fast boot turn your sata controller on or off um, all that kind of stuff under here and then you can actually set these up um, set these other tabs up so you can really configure what goes in here but for me i just felt that this is still incomplete right we have no settings for usb or anything that's in here um, which i just didn't like i wish that this tweak hd what they're calling it is actually a full bios experience with all of the settings in there and it's not you actually have to set those up yourself and put them in here um, which i didn't like but it still looks great again it's in hd as well so it's 1080p it looks really good um, you have your recent settings here and of course you can set up a favorites as well um, for things you, you change the most um, but overall very good bios it works really well i haven't had a single issue with it as far as it pausing or freezing or something um, not working correctly it does work again when you can see with the mouse or keyboard or any of these values that i want to change i can go ahead and key in um, i know there's a drop down but you can actually key them in as well which i do like because you don't want to scroll through a ton of values just to find the value that you want you can just key it in um, all works really well and again you just hit f2 to cycle through so again we have the startup guide and then we have the older or default BIOS, and then you have the Tweak HD. Um, again, I do prefer the Tweak HD, but I just wish it had everything in it so I don't have to go and add things in that I wanna change. Um, so that is about it. So if you have any questions about this BIOS, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.